All right, folks, it is the day after Christmas 2017, and I'm going down to Key Largo with my kids and one of my good friends, John Dwyer, for some Twilight Moth action. Uh, I think you're gonna be, it's gonna be a fun episode. Check it out. But first, I gotta get this tree in the truck. Let's move. Okay, our first stop is in Fern Forest because they have a Christmas tree drop-off and yeah, uh, ours was already ours was already starting to smell. I think we got it a little too early. So we're here at our Christmas tree drop-off spot and there's a whole bunch of Eupatorium. This is exactly what we're looking for down in Miami in the Keys to see if we can find some crepuscular moths. So not much on this stuff, but it's a weedy vine that will just cover certain areas. But nothing on this stuff. Hopefully we find some down in Miami. Goodbye, stinky tree. Goodbye, stinky tree. You were good to us while you left. <laughs> don't, don't bring a match. No, don't light a match. No. Let's do it. Chase oh, guy out of right. We're here with uh, my good buddy, John Dwyer. Peace out, people. What's up, people? And my two kiddos, Lorenzo and Sophia. We are going to be heading down to Key Largo and uh, maybe even make a pit stop on, in the Redlands in Miami to check out some crepuscular moth activity. I think you're going to be interested in what we're going to find. Hopefully, we find something. You never know. We just dropped off our Christmas tree because it was stinky. Yeah, it was time for it to go. Yeah, so we're here at Fern Forest and we just saw a ruddy dagger wing on the Eupatorium. We're just dropping off the Christmas tree and what a gorgeous butterfly that is. Now he flew and he's now on a Biden's, but I think the I think the Eupatorium makes him like drunk or something because they're usually don't let us they don't usually don't let people get that close. There he is. Now he's on the Eupatorium again. This plant is just fantastic. And down in uh, South Texas, something similar goes into bloom and in November, and that's when a lot of those exotic things are found that are found in Texas. And so they just absolutely love it. Males come to this plant for an because it's an alkaline-based flower, and the males of certain butterflies and moths uh, use the uh, nectar for sperm production. So. Go get him, dude. That is a boy, Ruddy Daggerling. Sweet! Now that is a good start to our day, gentlemen and lady. lady. So I guess we're done. Oh, yeah, we can go home now. Not, Not quite. quite. Key Largo, here we come. All right, we're heading down to the Keys on the turnpike. Yeah. And what I figured we would do is that we would have a little conversation about what we're doing today. So we're heading down to Key Largo and we're gonna check out the Nike missile site and uh, wherever else we can find our our mystery flower called Eupatorium odoratum. Who can say Eupatorium odoratum? Eupatorium. Eupatorium? Odoratium. Odoratium? The fine is not a Latin name. <laughs> All right, well, anyway. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is, this this flower is a great nectar source for male butterflies. It only blooms right around Christmas time. Some people call it Christmas flower. Other people call it blue mist flower. It's got a bunch of different names. So what we found in Key Largo, there's some Eupatorium patches that grow right in the middle of the hammocks. And there are some sphinx moths and arteid moths that absolutely love it. 
So we're gonna go down and try our luck and see what goes on. But what we're gonna do is that the problem with it is that they only come feed at this stuff at twilight. All right, Lorenzo, what's it called when an animal flies only at night? What's it called? Nocturnal. His is nocturnal, right? All right, Sophia, what's it called when an animal comes out only in the daytime? What's it called? Diurnal. He's diurnal. All right, now, if we're after moths that come out only at twilight, and they're only out right as the sun is going down, it's not really day, not really night, what do we call them? Wait, me and Lorenzo. I don't know. Twilight? You learned a new word, didn't you, Lorenzo? What's it called? Come on, speak up, man. The camera can't hear you. Crepuscular. 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 Which one is it? Okay, that's good. Crepuscular. Who can say it? All I know is you're driving, I'm going. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'll figure it out when I get there. John's. This is John's first bug trip. Yes. yes! It's what you've always dreamed of doing, right? Yes! <laughs> now, we're going to go enjoy South Florida, folks. I got coffee, so I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> we have our coffee. We're heading south. We're going to enjoy South Florida, and um, we're going to see some stuff. So forget the snow. We're heading down. Yeah, forget the snow. I think it was a good 78, 80 degrees today, day after Christmas. Yep. It was a nice, balmy South Florida Christmas. That's how we like it. All right, guys, let's go. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is Navy Wells. Whoa, that's beautiful. That's a little bit better, right? That's beautiful. Yeah, guys, this is this is Navy Wells. So this is a this is a, a slash pine hammock that sits right on top of a big freshwater spring and all of the keys gets their fresh water from this fresh water spring and this is definitely the best place that i know of to see a faithful beauty moth in flight so we're going to make a quick walk as soon as i stop filming i see a faithful beauty zip by All right, well, this is the Nike missile site. If there's no Eupatorium in this little clearing, we're gonna go to the cockfighting arena. No, man, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, let's, let's head over to the cockfighting arena. This is the cockfighting arena right here. And it's named that way. Because there was a cockfighting arena there. Really? Uh-huh. I guess you really could get away with it. Back in the 80s, and it's, it's been a while. Let's go. Let's make it happen, people. It's a twilight. It's a twilight. <laughs> Crepuscular. Get it right, boy. All right. That's good. Well, guys. No pork puscles. Okay, let's go. Let's go see if we can hunt down some Eupatorium. This is not good. We we are just making crepuscular time time frame. Like this is like prime time crepusculation right now. This is prime time crepusculation. It's pus time. It's pus time. <laughs> Pop it. <laughs> How you doing? Good man. All right, so. All right, guys, listen. This is Eupatorium right here. Am I still filming? Oh, that's what that is. Yep. Yep. I see this all over the place. Yeah, that's Eupatorium. This little flower right here is the stuff that's good. So you guys take a look at that one. Lorenzo and I will keep an eye on, our, on this one over here. But that's all the Eupatorium we've been able to find in the whole entire Keys trip. 
This is all we've got of Eupatorium. Just, just look for anything buzzing around at the flower, Sophie. We've, we've got about 10 minutes left of, uh, of daylight, and then it's going to get dark, and then this whole thing is a bust. Yeah, so we, oh, there he is, there he is. We just saw one flo float in. Keep your eye on those, on those plant vines over there, John. Oh. Is that him? Yeah. Yep, there he is. Crepuscular. Yikes. What do we got? Ah. They flew away? All right, keep your eye open. Okay, you, John, get, just start taking a video with that phone. It, it, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, look. Yep, look, there he, there he is. Oh, it's Luska. Luska. Come on, baby. It's Luska, that's a good one. Oh, well, that's different. What is this fine? This is a passion one. That's cool. They're zipping around, man. Where at? Yeah. Oh, that's Enyo lugubris. Enyo lugubris. That's the morning sphinx. Renzo, what you got there, bud? Got that's a crepuscular monster. Morning sphinx. Still haven't seen the elusive Sagra. But at least we've got some crepuscular cr moths. They fly just like hummingbirds, don't they? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. It is cool. Hold the rain, hold the rain. There, there's one floating around. That's what I, that's what I was looking at. Can you see? Yep. All right, so our crepuscular activity is messed up with this rain. However, we did see Paragonia lusca, the uh, half-blind sphinx, which was really cool. That's a, very, a native only of South Florida and the, and the Florida Keys, like the Miami area and the Keys. And we saw some uh, a morning sphinx come into the Pentas, and that was pretty cool too. And then it started to rain. So we're hoping that this rain will quit like now, because we've got about five minutes left of crepuscular activity. And then let's go home. And then it's time for some love Starbucks. 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 Oh, you want Starbucks? Yeah, First Starbucks. is Starbucks and then the Well, Starbucks for the drive home. So this is what we do when we get bored and not looking for moths. Wait, is it? Shh. Is it stopping? Be very, very quiet. Shh. Let's do it. Let's go. It is already filming. We're doing it. We're doing it. Come on. Let's make it happen. Passion flower. Is this such thing as passion mosquito? Oh, look at this. Passion mosquito? No, there's a moth on that flower. See it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Little geometric moth. No, I can actually enjoy this. Oh! All right, we're here. It's time for our enchiladas. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Hola, Don Henry. Hi, how are you? Welcome, Welcome to La Bamba. Welcome to La Bamba. Happy New Year. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? <laughs> Sophie. All right. Okay, brother. What's going on, Lorenzo? That's Mrs. Fine. What's up, Mrs. Fine? You two have the same smile. 
Yeah. The, the only, yeah. The only thing missing from today's trip was uh, Mrs. Fine along with us. Mrs. Fine was working. Mrs. Oh, Fine was working, boo. huh? Boo. Somebody's got to work. Oh. oh that was good. Oh, Touche. <laughs> I'm really not sure exactly how I should feel about that. I think I better go to work. <laughs> But we are gonna enjoy our our, right, our chicken enchiladas with mole sauce. We've got world class chicken tenders. Best chicken tenders on the planet. We've got a pollo a la plancha with platanos and french fries. And John, I got bread. You got bread. <laughs> no, there's something inside of there. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Hello, my name is Casey. <laughs> That's a pro case of the He's still a grown up, but right. yeah, he plays with food. All right. Sophie, yeah. what was your favorite part about the trip? Um, Starbucks. Going to Starbucks? <laughs> yeah. I love brownies that are warm. The warm brownie. All right. Lorenzo, what about you, buddy? What's your favorite part about the trip? Hurry up, they close at 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Babies at the, um, the garden. Yeah, at the garden? Yeah, seeing all the moths, probably. What, what's our word of the day? Cat. <laughs> <laughs> you already Wait, forgot. Cat carbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> what's our word of the day, man? Twilight. <laughs> Twilight needed something else. Come on, crop. Crepusculars. Crepuscular? Crepuscular. All right. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, that was hard. That was hard. <laughs> Johnny, oh, what about you, man? Oh, my favorite, favorite part. Well, I learned that Sophia and Lorenzo like to sleep in the car. They like Loren to sleep. <laughs> they Lorenzo like to sleep. is picky at Starbucks, and David does not like slow drivers. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> But we all like La Bambas. Yes. What yes, about we do. me? What do you like about me? You like to sleep in the car. No. Oh, you're, you know what? You're afraid of, of uh, animal carcasses. <laughs> Skeletons. Animal bones. No. <laughs> and you yet. screamed louder than your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I brought her into this. I was happy because she's not here. And our mother screams <laughs> really loud. That's Just reality. saying. Okay. Well, if you ever bump into my mother, don't try to scare her or she will punch you. Yeah. We're all trying to take ourselves out of this. Yeah. So just stop talking before. Yeah. Let's trouble. bring it to science yes. somehow. We didn't find you more for Labresca, but we did find. What did we A find? <laughs> Pentas and fire starters. <laughs> I don't know. They were men. Fire, no, we, fire trappers. Fire we, <laughs> we did find Paragonia Luska. Oh, I'm just going with it. Yeah, sure. So thanks for checking out this episode of Keys Mods. We had a great time. We found some mods. We've got our enchiladas and uh, whatever this stuff is. Uh, we had a great time with some friends and family. And uh, until next time, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Check out the website. It's www.keysmods.com. And uh, until next time, uh, enjoy South Florida. Take care. Adios. Bye.